One former royal family chef has lifted the lid on King Charles' boring Christmas dinner plans and revealed the late Queen's drink of choice. Brits up and down the country are likely counting down the days to Christmas, looking forward to their last day of work. But also the festive feast they can tuck into on the big day itself. The royals themselves will likely be putting the final finishing touches to Sandringham Estate, where they'll celebrate Christmas. They're known for a number of unique festive traditions, including opening presents on Christmas Eve, in line with the German roots. But when it comes to the Christmas dinner, the family's table will look like that of countless ordinary Brits. This is true to such an extent that one former palace chef even went as far as calling the family's meal choices boring. They did this as they revealed what the royal's festive schedule often looks like. Instead of chowing down on a banquet of the poshest nosh, including caviar and oysters, it's far more common. Darren McGrady, a former royal chef who originally worked at the Savoy Hotel in London, cooked for the royal family for 15 years and served food to everyone from the late Queen to Diana, Princess of Wales. Despite all of the memories Darren has from his time in the palace kitchens, he fondly looks back Christmas days, largely because how normal they were. He said, it was the same meal every year, they're actually boring when it comes to festivities. They didn't do hams or anything, just traditional turkeys. We did three turkeys for the Queen and her family in the royal dining room, one for the children's nursery and then more for the 100 or so staff, so everyone had a Christmas lunch. McGrady continued, the turkey is served with mashed and roast potatoes, chestnut or sage and onion stuffing, cranberry sauce and bread sauce. Vegetables include Brussels sprouts, carrots and roast parsnips. After the main course, the royals are said to enjoy a traditional homemade Christmas pudding decorated in holly, doused in brandy, and the palace steward would carry it, flaming, into the royal dining room, says McGrady. According to McGrady, the Queen enjoys a drink of a classic gin and dubonnet cocktail before her meal, or sometimes the German white wine Gewurztraminer. 